Okay, uh, this video, in this video, I'm going to I'm going to show you, it's it's just a demo, so it's not really a tutorial because this is my first time in in using, I mean, this kind of drawing here. So what I'll do, I'm going to just be fast and then later on in, in my next few videos, I'm going to slow down and, you know, and then finalize what should be done here. So anyway, uh, so my objective here is to draw this one in 3D in CorelCAD. So the first thing I'll do, I'll go to my command window and type in units. Hit enter. So my units, I will change this to centimeters because I know this is centimeters. And then precision, I'll just make it two decimal points. And I click on apply and click on close. Okay, so I have to decide which one to draw first. I'm going to draw the right side view first. So I go to view, 3D, and right view. Yeah. So I'm going to use my polyline, specify start point, 0, 0, which is my origin, which is this one here. I'll click on F8 or just click on ortho here. So I go to this direction. I'll type in 4 because this is 4. Enter. And then I go up and then I'll type in two because that's two. Enter. And going this side, that's one, then I'll type in one, hit enter. Okay, so I don't know the angle yet for this here. So I just hit escape. And I'm going to make these two lines here first. I mean three lines, one, two, three. So I click on my draw polyline. So go to the origin and click on ortho, go up, which is one. So type in one, hit enter, and go this side. And I know this is 1.25. So type in 1.25, hit enter. So now I know the angle. So I'll turn off my ortho mode and I'll just click on that endpoint and then hit escape to end the command but my problem is this one is one piece and this one is one piece in order to extrude I have to weld these two so I click on weld here where's weld and I specify base entity which is this one I specify entities to weld to the source which is this and then hit enter so if I select this, now it's one whole piece, means to say I can extrude it already. Okay, so I'm going to orbit this a little bit so we can see how it would, it would extrude. So I go to, let's move this over here. I'm going to go to my solid, draw, and click on extrude. Command window says specify the entity, so I click on this, hit enter. So I'll just type in two, because this one is two, right? So type in two, hit enter, and there. Okay, so I've done that already. Now we already done this one, so what I'm planning to do is I'm just going to create this object here, and then just weld or combine or make it unified. Okay. So I'm going to uh, okay, I'm going to go to this direction here. Okay, it's going this way. So I'm going to create this one. So I'm going to change the coordinates. Okay, so type in CCS, hit enter. Uh, type in three for three point. So this one is my origin. This one is my X. And this is my Y. Okay. So I'm just going to create a box which is which is 0 0.5, 1, 0 0.5. So so I click on my draw and I click on polyline. Turn on my ortho mode. 
click here so what did I say I said one hit enter and go up is 0.5 enter or well, this way is one hit enter and then C for close hit enter so this one is a whole object it's one whole piece so I don't need to weld that so looking at this one here because I'm going to extrude this so this is like four centimeters so I'll go back to my drawing here so I'll just move that away so that's how it looks like so now I go to my solids draw extrude what do I want to extrude it's this one hit enter okay so I'm going to type in four hit enter okay oops sorry about that okay so I'll just move this away first and I'm going to zoom out here zoom to fit so that's my object so now my my objective is I'm going to put this this box into here and then and then just unify this these two objects so I'm going to go to view first and click on hide okay. so I'm going to click on move which is this one command window says specify entities to move I'm gonna click on this one and then hit enter and it says specify from point so my base point so it has to be this cent midpoint here okay so that's the midpoint and then I'm going to put this one here in the mid time, mid, midpoint of this line too. So I'll go look for the midpoint. Okay. There it says midpoint. Click. And now I am done. The only problem with this one is that I don't have lines here and I don't have lines there. And this one should be one surface, not two objects. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to solids. I go to solid editing and click on union and then specify entity. So this is my first one and this is my second one. So hold down shift. So I got two. Okay, let's do that again. So I'm going to go to solid, solid editing union. I'm just going to enclose this two those are two objects and then hit enter and watch there so what happened here it's already unified so it's one whole object see I don't have this line here anymore okay so going back to my picture here I actually done this one the only thing I have to do is this circle here because that's a hole right so I'm just gonna move that here okay so I'm going to move this over here now I'm going to go to this view here I'm just gonna do orbit here okay. so now in here uh, what I can do is I, I have to change the the coordinate system so type C C S hit enter what I can do I can draw a circle here Right? but I know where to place it because here see here it's one okay one centimeter and this one is 0.5 but if you go up here it's also one here it means to say the midpoint of this one and a midpoint of here right so I'll go to my circle tool here and I'm going to look for the midpoint once I see the midpoint I go there like that and then I go up midpoint and I go down until these two lines those are guides okay so now I'm confident if I click on and make a circle here that will be the right location there click oops we didn't set this the coordinate system so C C S hit enter so type in three enter so this is my first point this is my x and this is my y okay so you notice it changed the coordinates okay 
let's do that again so I go to circle find the midpoint here which is that one I go there and I find the midpoint here okay and then I'll look for the intersection there so click and drag and then type in D for radius in the command window and I'm oh, sorry D for diameter and then the diameter here is 0.5 so I'll just type in 0.5 hit enter there very good now the only thing to do here is I'm going to extrude this and I'm going to subtract that so I go to solids uh, solid editing sorry goes draw and extrude so I'm going to extrude this one going in there so specify entities to extrude it's this one hit enter okay and then I'll type in I'll type in two right two hit enter oops add it wrong it has to be minus two because it's going that way so I go to solid draw extrude click on this one hit enter and then I'll type in minus two hit enter so now it goes inside okay so yeah so now I click on view shade let's look at the wireframe so three okay so that goes in that's good that's what we want to do okay now the only thing I have to do here I'm gonna move this there now we're going to subtract okay so okay you go to solid and then solid editing we're gonna subtract specify entities it's this one here and then hit enter specify solid or regions to subtract so it's this one here there enter so you won't see it until we click on hide here there it's whole now very nice and if you want to view it from a different shade in G hit enter there okay just gonna color that uh, let's see this one blue it's not really that good here okay so now you can see the object we can actually render it just to see how it looks like okay so click on product and there creates the strap shadow and there you go so that's the object that we just created